Hello everyone, it's me Erin, looking like a tomato. I just wanted to wear something to match my earrings. I wanted to make a video about something that has been truly, truly bugging me recently and that is just POCs deserve books that are about their oppression. I don't think this is a foreign concept to anyone that is a POC. However, <laughs> I feel like this is not being shouted enough are reaching the ears of these publishers or these movie makers. And I started thinking about this because if you don't know, Black History Month just passed, even though it was more like Black Face Month, it is still realistically Black History Month. Likewise, as a Black person, I was feeling a lot more proud than usual when I just wanted to read more Black authors. Plus, I'm going through all these books by Black people. I go through the African American section on Goodreads, which was a dead end. I just realized that all these books are about oppression. Oppression, oppression, oppression. And part of me felt like, ugh, I should acknowledge the experiences and the struggles of black people, but also I experience those struggles every day. Or my grandmother has experienced them more severely and I hear about it all the time. Not really all the time, but I do hear about it. I mean, my grandmother was my age, 16, when JFK got shot. Grandmother was crying in school over Martin Luther King. You know, like, I, I get it. I know it. But it was almost like the only time people want to read about black people, or people of color in general, is when it's about our oppression and our pain and our struggles. I don't understand why POC pain is so popular. I've been trying to really wrap my mind around it. Maybe people were just trying to tell our stories more and our stories have to be about pain and oppression, not about love and joy or anything else. It's just really exhausting to only really see people that look like you portrayed in any type of media when they are going through struggles. I'm not saying that capturing those experiences aren't important, but I should be able to go watch a love story or a epic fantasy with people that look like me without having it be really corny or low grade because I have noticed as a black person, you have two movie options. You either have really sad movie about oppression or you have really bad corny comedy that you've already seen a thousand times before that for some reason they keep on making. I just kind of wanted to rant about this. I do feel like it is getting better. There have been so many books that I've read recently with POC main characters that aren't about their oppression. I feel like I'm saying oppression and pain so much in this video, but that's the main topic, so I can't stop saying it. I am currently reading The Opposite of Always, a book that I am almost finished with, and I promise, I promise, I promise. These characters are African American, and it's really, really nice to read it about the average African-American teenager in this day and age. Yeah, the story's sad, but it's not because they're black, it's more so because just the circumstances that they're going through. But at the same time, it's still acknowledging like what it's like to be a black person or just these black insight jokes. But they do acknowledge that when you tell a black person or one of the characters in this book is Mexican or some type of Hispanic or is it Latino? I don't know. <laughs> do acknowledge that for some reason when you tell a sex. We gotta be there at seven. Yeah, it's like a universal joke. We've heard the joke before, but it's never been acknowledged in any other contemporary I've ever read before. So reading it right here and like laughing at it and just enjoying it, that was fun. That was nice. It was great. It was lighthearted. It was this inside joke for us POCs and it was nice. It was this fun little thing. Why can't I have more of that? To all the boys I've loved before, I'm so happy that this exists. I never would have imagined reading about just this casual, normal, Asian American teenage girl falling in love and just being, you know, like it's great, it's great, and it did so well. And I feel like it's getting better simply because, like, the success of Tell Boys of Love Before or Crazy Rich Asian or Black Panther are finally just showing people that, hey, we also want to be portrayed as happy people. I was shook when I heard about Children of Blood and Bone coming out, a high fantasy book with black characters. Oh my goodness gracious, it was the best thing since sliced bread. I mean, come on, it's sliced bread. See? She likes it. Get that bread, get that bread, Myla. Hey, Myla, look at me. Myla, Myla, Myla! I love you. I remember telling my sister about it and telling my whole entire family about it because I could not, oh, I just kind of like burped and farted at the same time. I cannot believe that this book existed. I cannot believe how popular this book got, but it did, and we're getting a sequel, and I just know it's going to be great, and ugh, Giraffe and the Dawn, and an Ember in the Ashes, and once again, it's great, because like, yeah, they're going through the struggle, but it's not because they're a POC, it's just because the freaking society sucks. And there's one of my favorite books of all time that I am currently loading to a friend, and if you lose my book, I will snap your neck, and that is The Sun is Also a Star, and it stars. <laughs>
It stars a black girl and this Asian American boy. It is great. It's just a nice love story. And once again, it does capture really important racial issues such as black women's hair and what it's like to be this Asian American boy in America or also just capture like what it's like to be a first generation immigrant. I think that's what it's called. Ugh. In America, like it's great. I do like highly recommend it, but it's not like the main plot of the story. It's great. I still appreciate books like The Hate You Give are a very large expanse of the sea because believe it or not, it's a lot easier for people to recognize things such as racism 50 years ago versus like racism or like racist tendencies now because they typically tend to see themselves and that makes them uncomfortable. So I do think more books like that should be published. But the main idea of this video is if I have five books starring black characters, four out of five of them should not be about my oppression.